Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you two ways to transfer contacts from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone. With these two methods, you can also transfer your messages, photos, videos, music, notes, voice memos and everything from one phone to another. So make sure you watch this video till the very end as I will be explaining each method step by step. And if you find this video helpful by any means, then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost you anything. So with that being said, let's roll the intro. Our first method is using a USB flash to transfer contacts, photos, videos from one phone to another. In this video, I am going to introduce you a cool gadget. It's called SanDisk Wireless Stick. This is a wireless USB flash drive and it's made for Android and iOS devices. With this flash drive, you can transfer data between three devices at a time wirelessly. This flash drive is available in different sizes from 16 gigabytes all the way up to 256 gigabytes. I will leave the link of this USB flash drive in the description below so just go ahead and check it out. Alright now let me show you how you can use this flash drive to transfer data from one phone to another. Alright as I said before this USB flash drive has Wi-Fi functionality in it. In order to turn it on just press the switch a white LED will pop up which means it's turned on. In order to use this USB flash drive, you have to charge it for at least 2 hours. Once it's fully charged, you can use it for 4 hours continuously. You can charge it from your computer or any charger that has USB port on it. Alright. Okay, before you connect to this USB flash drive, you need to download the apps on your both devices. So just go to App Store or Play Store and search for SanDisk Connect. This is the app as you can see. Just download and install this app on both of your devices. After that, you need to connect both your phones to a Wi-Fi which is coming from this USB flash drive. So first, I'm gonna go ahead, connect my iPhone. Once you connected it, now open up the app that you just downloaded. As you can see, in this flash drive, I have a lot of files and you can access it from both devices. If you want to, save files from this usb flash to your iphone just select the ones that you want after that here you have an option just tap on it and save it to your camera roll if it's picture or video you can save it to your camera roll okay our main aim is to transfer context from iphone to android now go to the phone that you want to transfer context from in my case i'm going to transfer context from my iphone so i'm just gonna go to settings after that scroll all the way down under the context there is an option by the name of backup just tap on it tap on yes and it's going to show all your contacts that are already stored on your iphone now all you need to do is just select all after that tap on backup and it's going to start backing up your contacts to this usb flash drive okay now it's done okay now that you have backup of your contacts now go to your android and open the same app that you just downloaded Next, go to settings, scroll all the way down, this time select restore, do not choose backup because we've already backed up our contacts on our iPhone. So I'm just gonna restore contacts, tap on allow, there you should see your backup files, select the one, so I've, uh, I have two backup files, so I'm just gonna go choose the latest one, which is this one, next tap on restore, and it's gonna restore or download all the contacts that were backed up from iPhone. Okay, now you can see here it says restoration is completed. Now let's go. And as you can see, these are all the contacts that were stored on my iPhone. So now let me quickly show you how you can transfer other files from one phone to another. So in this example, I'm going to transfer data from my Android to my iPhone. Okay, in order to do that, just tap on this plus sign and select what you want to transfer from here. In my case, I am going to transfer photos because that's going to take less time. Now select the photos that you want. In my case, I am going to use this too. Now you need to upload your files to this USB flash drive. You can either paste that photos inside a folder or you can paste it to this USB flash drive main folder. So I'm just going to upload it to flash drive. It's done. Now that you have uploaded files to this USB flash drive, you can easily access it from other device. And remember, transferring data between devices doesn't need internet connection so let's see what we have here so as you can see here are two photos so I'm just gonna select it and save it to my 
iPhone's camera roll. That's it. Now let's see. As you can see, these are two photos that were transferred from Android phone. Our second method is using a third party software to transfer data from one phone to another. The software I'm going to use is called Dr. Phone Switch. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. This software is also available for Mac users and also compatible with latest iOS versions. So just go ahead, download and install it. Link will be down in the description below. Once you install the software, just open it up. As you can see, this software is world's number one smartphone management software, especially designed for Android and iOS devices. With this software, you can recover any kind of deleted files from your Android and iOS devices. You can transfer data between your phone and your computers. You can also backup and restore your smartphones. And one of my favorite features of the software is Restore Social App. With this feature, you can manage all your social media apps like like WhatsApp, Line, Cake, Viber, and WeChat. With this option, you can also backup and restore your WhatsApp messages to your computer. You can also transfer WhatsApp messages from one phone to another. Like if you are transferring WhatsApp messages from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone, you can do so by choosing this option. This software is not free though, you have to purchase it. But if you purchase this software, believe me, it worth every single penny of your money. And I've already purchased the software and I'm quite happy with it. I've never seen any software like this. This is all in one solution for every smartphone user. Alright, moving on. In order to transfer data from one phone to another, you're gonna have to select switch option from here. Just click on it. Now it's gonna ask you to connect your phones to your computer. Okay, now it's loading data from my both phones. Now just give it a minute. As you can see on the left side, we have source phone. Now this is the phone that will transfer the data. On the right side, we have destination phone. Now this is the phone that will receive the data. If you want to transfer data from Android to iPhone, just click on flip and it's gonna change the order. So in my case, I'm going to transfer contacts from my iPhone to my Android. So I'm just gonna keep my source phone as iPhone and my destination phone as my Android phone. Now from this list, select the type of files that you want to transfer. As I said before, with this software, you can transfer your contacts, text messages, call logs, calendar, reminder, and everything except the apps and app data because you know, iOS and Android are two different platforms in terms of apps. So in my case, I'm going to select only contacts. You can select whatever option you want. After that, just click on start transfer. After that, the transferring process will begin. During this process, do not disconnect either of your phone. and and if you see any pop-up on your smartphones, all you need to do is just give the permission. That's all you need to do. After that, all your selected files will be transferred to your phone. So as you can see, mine is already completed. So there you have it guys. That is how you can transfer your contacts and other files from iPhone to Android or Android to iPhone. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to share it with your friends. That would be considered a big support from you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day.